In this session, we will go over some of the fundamentals behind modeling curves in 3D. So I'll go ahead and create a box in which uh, we will create our curves. So I'll just uh, pick three points. Um, the dimensions of this is trivial. We will be focusing mostly on what's happening on the inside and use this geometry as a reference. So I'll go ahead and type up extract wireframe and basically we should have, we can get rid of the extrusion and we should have uh, these curves in which we, we will model our curves. Now the first tool I want to show is um, what if we have a curve or we want a curve that has uh, some orthographic projections that we know about and what do I mean by that? For instance, um, if we know um, we want a curve that behaves in in a certain way in XY plane and behaves in a certain way in um, let's say XZ plane. So I'll go ahead and show you how this works. So basically let's say I have an arbitrary geometry in, um, in XY plane. So I drew a curve like this. So you can see that it's uh, resting on the XY plane. It's flat. And I'll do another curve, let's say this time on the XZ plane. So my curve is here. Actually, um, the YZ plane might be better in this case. So I'll switch to the right view. And I'm going to draw uh, something here as well. So let's say this curve is going to do something like this. Right, so basically, um, now I have a curve here that is uh, sitting on the YZ plane. And then I have another curve that is sitting on the XY plane. Now in Rhino we have a, a tool called Curve from Two Views. So if you go to Curve, Curve from Two Views, um, what Curve from Two Views does is it actually merges two curves that represent kind of the elevations of a three-dimensional curve. So in this case I'll just select this one and this one and it will give me a curve that satisfy the orthographic projection of these two. So this curve would have um, the, the projection of this guy sitting on the XY plane and it will have the orthographic projection of this one on the YZ plane. So merging those two it gives me this three-dimensional curve. Now I'm going to use some of these um, ideas but basically I'll start with an individual three-dimensional curve and then draw another one and then I'll create a, um, create a third curve that will connect these two and we will look at how we can network between these two um, curves in 3D. So first off, uh, let's switch to XY plane. So I'm going to draw two curves here. So the first one, let's say, does something like this. So I'm going to switch to handle curve and let's say um, we have something that starts from here. I'm going to hold my shift for to graphic projection and then let's say it ends here. And the other one, let's say it comes in from here and then ends here. It's actually picking up the center of the box. So that's, let's say, my uh, projection on the XY plane. It's actually sitting on top, but these, these guys are orthogonal. So I'm going to just type up set point, set their Z value to be on the XY plane. So I pretty much got... Um, the projection on the top view and then I'm going to do something similar on the um, on the YZ plane so I'll switch to right view again and I'm going to draw two curves um, that are similar inside the box as well so I'm going to come from this side this time and then end up here and then I'll do the same from this side and end up here so let's say these are the other projections of these curves. So now what I want to do is use this information and uh, cross match these curves. So first thing I go to curve, curve from two views. I want to match this one with this one. So I get this curve and I'm going to put that on a different layer. Let's call it layer one and I'll switch to layer four and do the operation again, curve from two views this time, this one. And I think it's this guy. Yeah. And I get uh, these two curves now, right? So they are doing kind of the orthographic projection of these two. Now, um, what I want to do is draw a third curve that connects these two, right? And um, to do that, I'm, I need um, an information, some information about how to connect them. So one thing we can do is 
for instance, go from here to somewhere here. Um, and I'm going to just do this arbitrarily. So I'll, I'll just put two points on this curve, one here and one there. So what I want to do is essentially create a third curve that does this, right? But of course, I don't want it to be a straight line. I want this curve to share some sort of uh, the topology of these two curves. So I want that curve to be tangent to the red and the green curve. And one way to do that would be to draw some helping geometry. So in this case, I need an axis that outlines the tangency of these two curves at these points. So go to the cascading options under the lines and bring it up. And now I want to do tangent from curve and I want to select um, these points, but uh, enable uh, both sides for the lines and then start from this point choose from first point and I want to draw this kind of um, imaginary axis that has the tangents information for the red curve and I'll do the same for the other one that goes from here in this direction. Now that I have those two tangent curves um, I want to go ahead and draw the, um, the third curve. Now there are a bunch of ways you can do that. The easiest way would be under the cascading options for the curves, you, you can use the handle curve. Uh, because we have uh, the tangent axes, you can also input the tangent vectors for the handles. So I'll click on the handle curve, come in here, click on this point, hold the left mouse button, and you can pick anywhere you want on this imaginary axis going in the direction of the curve, right? And then I can come back here to the second curve and then follow the imaginary axis on the second curve as well. Now, the special thing about this curve is that it kind of shares the tangent information for either of these curves, right? So that's kind of what we wanted. Um, we can actually do another one, I think. Let's do another one in um, somewhere around here. So I'll do this quickly. Um, I'll just put two points again. And I'll draw two imaginary axes, tangent from curve, both sides. And from first point, this is the first axis, both sides. From first point, that's the secondary axis. And then I'll switch to handle curve and then do it here as well. So these two curves are connecting the red and green one. So I'm just going to close the blue line so that you can see um, what we have right now, right? So I have kind of uh, nicely networking curves in 3D. And if you want to, let's say, um, edit the topology of these, you can always turn on the points and you can move these points along this axis. You can also do scale, use the center line and then pull them inward or outward if you want to give them more curvature. You can control them like that. Um, so um, now that we have covered that, um, Let's actually go ahead and do um, do how we can how we can switch this information to a three-dimensional geometry um, in another video.